Hi, I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Welcome to Ham Radio Adventures. Today we are going to look at the Top Shack 60 volt benchtop power supply. Here it is. Now, a benchtop power supply is really good for a lot of things. If you're building projects, you need something up on your, uh, your benchtop, something easy to get to, and just easy to operate. It doesn't take up much space. As you can see, it's not very big. Three inches across the top, about 12 inches this way, and about six inches tall. I'll get those measurements for you later. So let's take us into the shack. We're gonna actually open it up, see what's inside, and see how it operates. All right, this is the box the Top Shack came in in. A pretty standard box, nothing fancy. In the box, we got this instruction manual, and it's not bad. Um, just two pages. And I will say that I did find out some good information on it, and I'll show that to you later. Also in the box, you get the power cord. Mine came with like a European plug, but it also came with an adapter. Okay, and then it came with your probes, or this one actually has little alligator clips, and I guess it'd be pretty easy to set up a, a probe setup also, if you uh, prefer that. And there's all the parts that came in the box. Now this is a benchtop power supply. It's not made for powering your radios or anything like that. Let's go ahead and we'll pull this off because that does block some of the screen. So what you have is your, uh, you have your voltage, your coarse and fine. You have your amperage, coarse and fine. And then down here, it'll tell you your watts. I'll show you how to set that. Uh, you can charge batteries with this. It's probably not the best thing to use, but if that's all you have, you know, that's what you got. But I'll show you something that's kind of important. Uh, how to set the amperage and when you set the amperage you don't want to touch anything same with the voltage after you've hooked it up because it actually won't show a difference on the screen once you've set it you have your on and off here now on the bottom you have a couple feet four of them there to, for setting on your so it doesn't scratch your desk a little vintage down here you have the vents on the side, screws that hold it on. And we are going to open this up and take a look inside. And then the top is just plain. And again on the other side, more vents. Okay, on the back we have the fan up here. It's held in with four screws. You have the power plug um, that I showed you earlier plugs into here. And then over here you have the um, switch to switch it to whatever country you live in. Uh, for here in the United States, we use the 115. If you switch it the other way, it's 230 right there. So I'll put it back so it's right for me. All right. Make sure you switch this before you start using this thing, guys. All righty. Let's tear this thing apart and see, uh, see what's inside. Now, if you don't have one of these, guys, I will put a link down in the, in the description below. Uh, an Amazon link, hopefully. And... This looks like one of their little impacts, but this is actually a screwdriver or screw gun, a powered screw gun. So we're going to use that to uh, take the screws out just to speed things up. Okay, so you have eight screws. I think that should get this thing opened up. It does. Okay. Probably getting a little reflection on that, but on the back you have this heat sink. Piece of, looks like a piece of aluminum maybe. The fan is back here in the back. So let's turn this over. All right, so there's the inside of this. Uh, all your, your, in the front here, you have your knobs and all the uh, 
the board in the front there, up in here, with this cord that goes across to hook everything in. Got some really large capacitors over here, some more over here. The toroid this wound. You have the fan in the back. And as far as I've noticed so far, the, the fan is pretty quiet. This is your power supply here, where the plug comes in the back. So overall, the uh, board looks pretty good. Let me give you a little closer look at it, and I'll let it sit there for a second. All right. So there we go. You get a little closer look at it. Maybe I can pull, probably pull it in just a little closer for you guys. I'll leave that on for a second there. Uh, I believe this is your transformer here. Okay, let's hook this thing up and uh, see how she works. Okay, let me show you how you turn this on. There's got the power switch here. It turns it on. It takes a few seconds for it to power up. Okay, the model for this is the MPS605W. The power is 300 watts, has an AC input of 115 or 230 volts. The DC out is 0 to 60 volts with 5 amps, and it weighs 1.6 kilograms. You have, like I said, on the top up here, you have your coarse and your fine for your voltage. And it takes a little while to react. Depends on how fast you turn it. Like if I turn it way down like that, it will just slowly go down to where I've turned it. So we're at 10.8. So let's just do, let's let's say you're gonna charge, and, and I would recommend getting a battery charger. So there's your top part. Uh, your fine makes it a little easier to dial stuff in a little slower when you're trying to get it really exact. Okay, so let's just do 14.4. Now 14.4 might be for a lithium battery. Then for your amperage, you have your probes here. Okay. To do your amperage, you actually need to hook the two together. Because if you look, right now here's the amperage. I'll move it. It doesn't do anything. Okay. But if you, hook the, if you short the two together, like that, you get a little spark. Now we have amperage. So say you're going to charge a small battery like a three amp hour from BioNO. It usually, the chargers take two amps. So what we'll do is we'll bring it up to two amps. Okay. And then we'll, just, we'll dial it down and then we'll, I'll dial it up with the fine adjustment. And we'll just get it close. Like I said, it's, it's not instantaneous. That's close enough, 1.299, and then it shows 0.2 watts, okay? Now, once you set this, don't touch it because once you hook it to the battery and you start, if you start adjusting these things, you could raise it and, and actually hurt your battery. And same with the voltage. It doesn't show up once you do it. So we're at 14.4, I think that's what the, the BioNO says. And then you just hook it up. So that's kind of how things work. Okay, down here at the bottom, you have a thing for constant voltage, or when you check it, when you hook them together, it shows constant current. Okay, so you, that's your two down here, and there's your zero to 60, and we will take it apart here. Now we're going to go up, and we'll just see if it'll go to 60. I'm going to turn the fine all the way down. We're just going to turn this all the way up. So there's all the way up on the course, so it's 52 volts. And to get your 60, you just need to bring the fine up. And so it's 61.4 volts. All right. So it's a pretty nice little compact bench top supply. Now this can be used for a lot of things like, uh, say you're doing, uh, some guys will actually adjust uh, parameters on their radios. And sometimes you need an exact voltage. And this is a way of doing that. Let me get my multimeter. We'll hook it up to it and see how it compares, okay? All right, so this is a Klein MM400. It's probably the best uh, multimeter I own. 
So it shows 61.3 and we're 61.4. So let's just bring it down. I'll just let it go. We're 18.4 and it says 18.54. So pretty close. I think that's close enough. So it, uh, it shows 18.4 on the, on the uh, top shack. And then on the client, it shows 18.54. We'll, we'll even bring it down a little farther and just see how it does. Let's just set this. Let's see if we can set this at 12. Okay, there's 12.1. We have 12.2. So it shows a little bit low. On most of those, it looks it seems like. All right, so I think it's pretty good though. That's that's close enough, and uh, I think this will be a nice little addition to the shack here. So let's close out of this, and uh, I think I've shown you a quick overview of what it can do. All right, awesome. Now, just so you know, Banggood did send this to me for a review. Everything in the review is my honest opinion. I, they didn't pay me to say anything or make me say anything. I hope this review was helpful for some of you, especially of, of you, those of you that are looking for your own benchtop power supply. Now, is this, is this power supply the best power supply ever? No, it's not, but it doesn't cost the most either. It's, it's a good one for most hobbyists. Now, if you're into uh, doing really high-tech electrical stuff, I'd probably find something different. If you're new here, think about subscribing and then hit the bell, hit all. That way you'll get all my future videos. And don't forget to hit that like. I'm Chuck, KK6USY. Be safe all, 73s. Hope to catch you on the airways.